The city been probing for it, but Balaam's Allen grave is right here. That's where his grave at. That's where his headstone was. I don't know when he got moved or moved him, but they start cleaning. See, the angle they got these headstones, that's never the way it was buried. It was all squared away, but they came in and re removed it. But here's where his grave is right here. Balaam Allen. of the Melbourne, Florida name. Now this comes directly from melbourneflorida.org, the city of Melbourne website. Now in the origin, it states, the area began to be called Melbourne eight years before the town was officially established. A name was needed because a post office was being established to serve families in the area. The first postmaster, Cornwith John Hector, was an Englishman who spent much of his time in Melbourne, Australia, before opening a general store at Crane Creek. Now remember, in 1867... Peter Wright came to Crane Creek. He was a captain of his own vessel and the first mail carrier in the area and deeded 160 acres of land that is known today as Front Street. And y'all know where Front Street is in Melbourne, Florida. Now you see how this story was turned around? You notice on this website around corn with John Hector, the city of Melbourne has no dates when he arrived. You notice that? We're gonna dig a little deeper. oldest house in Melbourne, Florida. This is the first house of worship uh, that uh, where Greater Allen Chapel started. This was the home of Wright Brothers. And that was a day in, in 1864 when Wright Brothers, Bill and Allen, Wright Brothers and Dr. Robert Lipskin and their spouses sat at a table and they talked about starting a church. And the, the church was going to be the first house of worship in the city of Melbourne, which would become uh, Greater Allen Chapel AME Church. And so Bale and Allen and Wright Brothers uh, were in this house, which, on, which was on Crane Creek. Um, well, you know, as you know, there's a lot of development that is taking place on Crane Creek right now. Uh, with the housing development that is taking place and we were able to secure the house in which we relocated right across the street from Greater Allen Chapel. As you see now, this house is going to become a museum uh, that so that we can tell the story of the great heritage of the founders of uh, Crane Creek, which of course later became Melbourne, Florida, and also the founders of Greater Allen Chapel and all the history that encompasses all of South Brevard that at one day we'll be able to share this history, that it will be able to go to generations and generations from today. I am your church. I am here because you built me 137 years ago. I am beautifully situated in your midst, in the center of your community. I am cherished, I am a cherished landmark to the thousands because you knew that your life would be incomplete and unfilled without me. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I am your church. I am here not simply to adorn, but to serve. 
your children and youth come to me to learn the ways of honesty, industry, morality, and religion. Your brides and grooms come to my altar that their weddings may be hallowed and sweetened by divine blessings. Praise God for whom all blessings are. I am your church. I comfort your sick and sorrowing, sorrowing. I bury your dead and offer rest and solace to the weary. I bring pardon and peace to those who are burdened with sin. My message of mercy brings new life. We give thanks to Almighty God. I am your church. For 137 years, my doors have been open to all, rich or poor, bound or free. My pulpit bring, rings out the message of goodwill to men, of peace and pardon, and of a Savior's love to all. I touch you the way of life, I teach you the way of life, and guide you on the road to heaven. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! I am your church. Come and worship with me, support me, and I will continue to serve you all the days of, on this earth. I am your church. I am Greater Allen Chapel, African Methodist Episcopal Church. All God be the glory for the praise he has Okay, with you being a businessman for so long in the community, knowing all this, did you ever say something to the city about it? Well, I'm on, I'm on yeah, I, I talk to the boards. I'm on one of the boards. I'm the oldest serving member on the board of adjustment. I've been there 45 years, so it, uh, most of the meetings, important meetings, are dealing with community affairs. I attend those meetings, right in the council, whatever meeting they have. So we're talking to everybody right now, and requesting assistance from them, and all we can go file with this, uh, the yeah, because I was thinking, why the statues ain't in downtown? <laughs> that That's my opinion. The statue should be right there at the city hall, right in front of that building. Well, that's not a bad idea. That'd be something you can discuss and talk to Joe. And that, 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 that'd really be an idea. That, if, if, if it's that really be ideal, if, if it go there. First, we was going to put it down in, 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 in our church property, right down there in Stone Street in Prospect at the corner. And it came up to be best if we go in the park where everybody's here. But I guess the city hall here would be a far better place for it to be that in than any other place. Because every time people come to Melbourne and see the hall, they will see who found the place. Yes. Yes. So this is the house right here. We, it was moved a little, about a year and a half off of Crane Creek in which... Uh, we are very grateful that we do uh, was able to secure the original house, the first house in Melbourne, Florida. And um, additionally, again, as you see, it's under construction even right now. And um, when it's completed, it will become a museum that we will be doing tours of the house. We'll be doing tours of the community. And it's housed directly across from Greater Allen Chapel AME Church. Those are the original windows too, huh? These are the original windows. Now, we've had to upgrade in some areas, and we're still going to have to upgrade in some areas. And um, you'll find that uh, some of the upgrading, we try to keep it as basic uh, as possible so we don't change the, the foundation that it was built on. Uh, but the windows are original, and the only difference that has some major work been done is on the porch. Uh, but other than that, most of, it, of the building is just primarily the original that was in 1865, uh, with some improvements along the way. Uh. Again, you know, with this property that we moved it on, this happened about at very most two years ago, so we're still under construction. And um, it is, again, that we're going to improve this house, that it will be a museum in the years to come. It is still under construction. There's a lot of work that must be done. But we, again, are so grateful that we were able to secure the original house where Balin Allen and Wright Brothers and Dr. Robert Lipskin and their spouses were able to uh, start uh, the first house of prayer. And additionally, where Balin Allen and Wright Brothers were two of the founders of Crane Creek, along with Peter Wright. Entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, businessmen. 
that did successful things way back in the 1860s. They were entrepreneurs. They opened stores. They started di different businesses. As you know, Peter Wright was a mailman, and it was just so much work that they did, even right after slavery. That they didn't stop that. They just continued to move forth in a positive way to uh, make the most out of their lives. And they did some great things that still were standing on their legacy. And it is so important that we tell the message of the history that we're standing on, even today. So how it looks inside the house? Um, it, it's, the foundation is still solid. Foundations, there's a lot of improvement that must take place. We have to understand mm -hmm. we're looking at a house that's about 137, 38 years, almost 150 years old. And mm -hmm. so, therefore, there is some additional work that must be uh, done, but uh, it, the foundation is very strong. And uh, we do have uh, the Greater Allen Development Corporation along with uh, Mr. Charles Jackson and, and, and others that are working on securing the strength and doing the work to make this foundation very, very um, uh, strong so that other families and individuals will be able to come in and the story can be told. As you see on the screen, on the monitor there will be, there was a presentation that was made that talks about the history of Melbourne. And as you can see, there are other interviews to return that back up. Brittany, can you turn this back up? Again, the volume again, Brittany. Generations of their children are still live in the area, and we expect future generations to call Melbourne for their home. Good afternoon. My name is Joseph McNeil, and I am the president of the Concerned Citizen of South Brevard. I want to take this moment to share with you some of our, or one of our initiatives, and that is to build and erect a monument of the three founders of Melbourne to commemorate their legacy. It is our desire to put this monument, and we have gotten approval from the city of Melbourne uh, to uh, have it erected at Riverview Park. We will be, uh, from henceforth, we will be raising funds to uh, ensure that this monument is er erected and that we are we want to make sure that the story of the founders of Melbourne are told. At this point in time, very few of the residents are aware of the founders of Melbourne. There is no commemoration of any at City Hall. There is no commemoration of it anywhere basically known that the founders were three black men. So we're just making this legacy to make sure that their story is told. In order to do so, though, we're going to need your help and your assistance. One, by making donations to the Founders Monument, and by doing so, you would help in that effort. You can make your donations to www.foundersmonument.org, or you can send your cash payments to the post office box of 1392, Melbourne, Florida, and that's to the Concerned Citizens of South Florida Incorporated. We thank you for your donations in advance, and we look forward to the erection of the monument. As I was sharing with you that we started a festival approximately eight years ago called the Crane Creek Founders Heritage Festival, in which we wanted the public to become more aware of Peter Wright, Bale and Allen, and Wright Brothers. So we started the Melbourne Crane Creek Founders Festival. It was at that Founders Festival that the word and the public became more aware of those founders. We changed the name from the Crane Creek Founders Heritage Festival to the Melbourne Founders Festival. As a result, uh, the public became more aware and we've got an organization called the Concerned Citizens of uh, Brevard County that now are working on uh, getting a monument and statues made and placed in uh, some city property that uh, the public will be more aware of those founders by way of statues and monuments that is in, in the works even as we speak.
how long you think it's gonna be until y'all get this project done we are very uh, progressive with this and aggressive with it we don't want this history to get away from us and it, it, we've been waiting for almost 137 138 years to get this message so now is the, the time of urgency we want to get the message out right away hard work uh, under the leadership of the concerned citizens of getting the monuments and the statues placed in a location that will be suitable for the entire public to uh, see those statues. So our timeline is we're very, very uh, aggressive with getting the work done. But one thing that I can say that under the leadership of um, uh, Joseph Mike Neal and the concerned citizens, they have approached the city. Uh, and the city has agreed uh, to cooperate with the concerned citizens with the statues and the monuments, awesome. uh, with the city location, um, that uh, they've agreed to allow the statues to be placed on some city property, and they have committed to working together with the concerned citizens with the statues and the monuments. So That's the cool. city has agreed to work together with um, the concerned citizens under the leadership of Joseph Mike Neal. I'll tell you what. Look, to me who you read and hear about, about family would help start Allen Chapel. Allen Chapel Amy Church, Carrie Lipscomb. You hear about that, read about that. I tell you what you do. Now, let me see one of the idea of changes. Let's see your fire that's not the one. See this angle they did, they did it for decoration, but the cemetery was squared away, just like so. That's the way it was. And I brought, I brought, I brought the city, uh, well, they did clean those, they cleaned those off, for those who couldn't read those. So they bleached those in the last couple of weeks for the city did that. But I brought them out here to show them that, and they probed here to see, trying to find a, 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 a any kind of thing on the ground, but they couldn't find anything. See, that's Stephen Lipscomb right there. 1914 died. Yeah, 1846.